What's up, dogs and all yets? Welcome back. Warframe. Your boy Hark Dog 25. I guess I should say Gara 25. Finally got the Gara frame. All uh, leveled up. Uh, let's take a look at the mods I have usually so far. I have not. Uh, Excellent uh, comments, operator. Please return covered in blood. Easy there. Easy there. So I got the auger. Uh, that's what I'm really using here. Uh, shield capacity. Ooh, I could upgrade this one, actually. Um, but I'm using the auger. I got, uh, two on my Lex Prime, I think. No, the Broughton. The Broughton Prime. Uh, I got two somewhere else. Anyways, ha, <laughs> that's besides the point. Um, but if I upgraded this one, um, and used an action... Double the mod capacity. Oh, I don't want to. Nope. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So I need a reactor. I don't want to use a reactor. Uh, that's fine. So. Um, but this is what I'm using so far. Intensify the ability strength, uh, which is pretty nice uh, on Gara. Um, especially the uh, number four ability where you send out a ring of molten glass. And then you can shatter it on people, which is sweet. Continuity, the ability duration is decent. Uh, it's good for the two and three. Um, use your shield um, to get some glass flying around you. And uh, then you can actually buff your teammates. Or you can just go maim people. And then while... Uh, um, I use it while doing melee tricks um, and stuff like that. So you can kind of get a double, double damage with the melee. Vitality, I had to use Vitality because, oh my gosh, it was uh, it was bad. I was dying pretty quickly. Um, and then Augur Massage is the ability duration, which adds continuity. So I have 154% duration, which is pretty sweet. Uh, shield capacity here is where I get extra shield from the... And then ability range, which is really nice. I got the MP Aura uh, just because it fits in. Uh, I got Physique, which I could have 3% maximum health. Or toxin resistance, which fits into that mod place. Um, but Corpus Emmys have reduced accuracy, which is actually pretty nice for Gar because she's kind of she's a little fluffy. She's a little fluffy. But this is what I got so far. This is what I'm using. Like, um, like I said, you double the mod capacity. You could probably get away with uh, a little bit better stuff. Uh, Energy Max. I would definitely like that flow on there and make things a little bit easier. Um, and then streamline is definitely one that I would use the ability efficiency casting speed you don't really need the casting speed uh, too much um, it does help a little bit but um, I probably wouldn't be too big of an advantage um, as far as uh, Exilus I'm not sure what exactly would be good for the Exilus on this 5% slide maybe I don't know warm coat Shock Absorbers, Ice Spring, not too sure, um, but that's what I would definitely use. Uh, the range, you don't need too much extra range, um, especially if you're using the augers. Uh, I have uh, definitely been enjoying it. Gladiator, simply, ah, oh yeah, it's just that one. Um, let's see what Vigilante, Enemy Radar, Shield Recharge, I already got those uploaded. Um, so I guess I wouldn't add too much extra to this. I mean, quick thinking, I don't even think that's worth it. Steel fiber might be okay. Fast deflection may be okay. Um, as far, I'd probably use streamline and flow on these two slots uh, if I did upgrade. And then try and uh, substitute one of these with something better uh, if something better comes along anyways um, let us go try out the abilities here a little bit and see what we got so let's go to like a defense somewhere defense 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 maybe at the Sinai there's no one there there's nobody there well let's go a little bit lower maybe Mars Spy, defense, grenier. Here we go. Just in case nobody joins. Um, since she is a little bit fluffy, I don't really want to just jump into uh, 
a level 35 40 mission by myself so uh, but I am enjoying Gara. She is she is a fun little fun little frame. Let's have it level it up. Ooh, my Glaxion. You must defend our equipment until reinforcements arrive. I'm gonna glax the hell out of some people. We used to be builders, but now all they make is war. Oh, this is a perfect one. So uh, jump up definitely a little bit higher in the air before you use your four ability. Boom! Now look at that ability range. And it covers everything, basically. Honestly, probably the best way to do this is... So you can somehow get up top. I know, I got some people joining in here. Oh. Huh. <laughs> They're not even making it in here. Oh, he jumped over. There we go, that's what we want. No, missed it. Oh, oh, oh. No, I can't go any. Oh. It'd be ideal if you can go up a little bit higher. Because um, the glass goes down to the floor from whatever height you are. So, yeah, I'm not very high there. Oh, let's go up here. All right, so this is we'll go up here. See if I. Uh, I don't think I can stand on top of this thing. Can I? Eh. There we go. All right, so let's hit our four ability. You know. Oh, nope. Don't have enough energy. Perfect. <laughs> well, all right. I'm sure, there's a couple orbs hanging around here. I'll let this guy just kill everything. Probably should have uh, picked something a little bit. I should have picked efficiency instead of ability range on this one. <laughs> that make things a little bit easier. Oh, Galaxion, you're my, you're my pal. Alright, we're getting good. 125. More energy. Give me the energy. So, this shield actually lasts a fairly long time. They have to break through it. And this low level, these low level fools, it'll take a while for them to break through. But, let's see if we can get a few people at the edge and then we can use our one ability to shatter the glass on them. And then we'll put up another one. Here we go. What the heck? There. There it finally went. So, <laughs> I guess I wasn't aiming exactly at it. But it, but it blows it up, which is pretty sweet. Uh, if you have a lot of people around the edge, uh, if you want to sprout a new one, especially if they already made holes into, uh, into your glass barricade, which will happen, especially at higher levels, um, there really is no point in keeping it. So when you have a bunch of enemies right there, Aim at it, hit the one ability, shatter in their face, and then boom, wham bam, they all done. Get glaxed, dude. Get glaxed. Everybody's like, oh, why don't you use a different weapon? Nah, I'm using a different weapon. I got plenty of different weapons. Just I have most of my, uh, my focus lenses on a very few. Which, I'm actually making a greater Naramon lens because I got enough Naramon lenses now, finally. So... Now I can figure out what I want to throw that one into. Can't put it in the Oberon frame already. Unless I can remove lenses. But I do like the Oberon. It's a fun little frame. Alright, so now let's get up a little bit higher here. There we go. Now, let's hit our 4 ability. Now, whatever, whoever's inside is going to be turned to glass. See, he's covered in molten glass. Bam. And he just shattered. And look how high it is now. Look at how high it is. It just encompasses the entire thing. So they can't jump over when you get a little bit higher, which is obviously what you want to do. Because they're jumping over the first one I made from the edge. Pretty nifty, right? And the ability range is nice because, I mean, look at how wide of an expanse this is. 
Oh, and this guy, is he stuck on the outside? Oh. I forgot what I, what I got for melee. I think I got a Kronos. Oh, look at it. They're just stuck on the outside. Now when there's a lot of people at the edge, boom, shatter them. But now let's uh, go over here and let's try our two and three abilities. So I'm going to put it right here because a lot of people, uh, a lot of enemies come through here. So see, it just makes mirrors and these guys start attacking the mirrors once they see their true selves, at least that's what the description says. And these mirrors actually damage people when they do come into here, which it doesn't look like many are going to. Come on, someone come in here. And there's my ability length, it is still 10 seconds. Uh, the duration, the 154% duration really helps out because then you get it at about 30, 30, 35 seconds for this ability, which is nice. All right, let's do this. Let's do it right here. Ow, bastard! There. So just flow right around here. Let's see. Let's see them attack their true selves. Yeah, see, he's not even shooting at me. He's shooting at. He's shooting at whatever he sees in the mirror. <laughs> Must be pretty ugly, right? Uh, but see, I mean, I still got 12 seconds. It seems like I've been fighting for like a minute with this. Okay, this guy can't even get through here. That doesn't even hurt me. But you can shoot through the glass, which is super nice. Oh yeah, level f right, number five. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Let's go see where this fool is. Oh, here he is. Oh, get Galax down. Move on to another another wave here. Uh, let's go next. Um, so that's what the three ability is. It's really it's really sweet. Um, problem is with this level, I'm not getting that much energy. <laughs> Just kind of a little bit of trouble because I need energy to display what the abilities are. Oh, bam, get glaxed. What's up, bro? Oh, you can hide back there. Ow, you little punk. Oh, thanks, Death Cube, for the help. I don't know how these guys are getting up here. Oh, I see. Oh. Anyways, um, so let's use our two ability. See, my shield becomes glass, and it just rings around you. And right now I have 30 seconds worth of ability, and it does quite a bit of damage. It honestly does quite a bit of damage, which is really it's really fun. Uh, you just find a plethora of enemies, go walk into them, and start slicing and dicing, spin attacks. Non stop. And not bad, right? Not bad, not bad. I got a lot of glass. That ability duration is super key for these two abilities. Oh, get checked. Check that out, dude. Nah, let's hit it one more time so we can find a little crowd here. There we go. Alright, here's a couple. So you just go in, bam, slice. Well, those guys died right for it. Yeah, come on, haul me next to you. Dead. Dead. <laughs> I mean, it's such so such a, a low level that it doesn't really matter right now. Dude, let me glax those guys. Get out of here. Oh man, there's so many people here. Shatter. <laughs> man, I love that. It's such a fun, li fun little ability. It's cool. It's cool effect. I love the idea of the glass frame. Uh, I mean, look, I just walk into people, and then it runs out right when I need it. Perfect. What a time to be alive. Oh, dead if you're a Grenier. You're dead. Boom. Boom. You must be a Glax, brah. Well, he just fell off the map. There we go. Um, so that's about it. I mean, the 4-1 combination is good. 
Uh, using the three ability in a hallway is actually really, really nice. Uh, because they can't get around it, and they're especially in defense uh, defense missions, it is super super nice. So let's use our three ability again here. And okay, I pointed it right there. See now he gets in it. Look at it, they're they're attacking their their true selves. They're not even attacking uh, the objective. So it's pretty sweet. Now. Let's hook ourselves up here. We gotta get a little bit of height though. Ah, let's go up here. We don't have to go that tall. Let's turn some into some molten fools. Now these guys are gonna all oh, get molten blast on them. See it? Shatter. Ha <laughs> ha. Love it. It's super nice. See now they're stuck here. And you can just pick them off right on the edge. So the Gara is really good frame. I definitely would go. Um, ability duration as something something big. Uh, the auger pack is good. It adds to your shields, um, so you don't have to have a shield ability. Um, I don't have the sixth one. I have five of the auger packs, which is, the sixth one might be for Kubro. What, what? No, that's the hunter track. That's the Kubro ability uh, set. Um, I know I have all the hunter tracks, but I don't have a Kubro, <laughs> unfortunately. Get shattered. What's up, dog? Bam. Ho, 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 ho. Sorry. It happens. You stuck there, big guy? Uh, I'm sorry. Alright, you're dead. <laughs> Alright, so I hope you enjoyed uh, the quick little uh, showcase. It's not a guide, uh, just showing you what I have been using for the Gara so far. I know there's a lot better mods out there and there's a lot better setups, but I've only played Gara up to level 30 once. Uh, so uh, I don't know exactly what I want to have added as far as like selling for um, what mods uh, to trade for. So, but I will be trading a bunch. Of, I got a whole bunch of stuff to trade hopefully soon. I'm building, I got like two, I got a bunch of prime weapons and prime sets that I probably won't ever use again, but um, I gotta see if I showcase the Necro's Prime at all, I think I did, but I have that one, and I'm getting very close to some other uh, prime sets, just need one or two more, two more things, mainly one more thing, so, but we'll try out some new frames soon. So remember to like the video, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you use in uh, your Gara frame if you do own it. Um, if you have utilized it, it is found uh, in the plains of Eidolon uh, bounty missions from Kanzo. So definitely go out there. Uh, it didn't take too long to get all the parts. I mean, it probably took me 15, 15 missions, but that's not really that many in the scheme of things. So. Uh, definitely go check Gar out. Definitely play with her. Uh, it's a lot of fun. And we'll see you next time for more Warframe. Where we'll go back in and uh, do some other battles and do some other uh, quick guide stuff, which I got coming up soon. So, take care, everybody.